the first thing I'm going to do is trace the shape of the oval for the face with my finger. Once I'm comfortable with that, I'll trace it lightly with pencil. Then I'm going to add a triangle for the nose, so lips, eyes. Since this is a profile portrait, we are only seeing one eye. Then I'm adding my hair and I decided to make it curly. So I'm using these curly shapes to show the curly hair. And you can really make this your own, however you want. Then I'm gonna draw some lines to break up the shape of the face. And this is also gonna be the lines where we write our words. Drawing my lines. I'm taking my time, just making sure that I like where they're placed, making some thinner and some thicker, just because I think it's more interesting. Once I like my sketch, I'm gonna go over every line that I made in pencil using my Sharpie. Tracing over the lines really carefully. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start writing in some words. So these are words that describe me or things that are important to me. Artist, cat mom, family, love, music, food, integrity. You can pick any words that are meaningful to you and you can also write short sentences. Things I like to do, reading, creativity. Just think of words that are meaningful to your life. If you have a lot of white space on your paper, you can add some designs uh, just to make it more interesting. You can look at some of the pictures that we looked at of Nate Williams' work and some of the designs that he used in his background and get inspired by those. So I'm adding some of these stars and shapes and then when I'm done, I'm gonna start to add color. So I'm using watercolor to just add color to my portrait and you can use any colors you want. I wanted to make it really colorful, so I'm kind of using different colors for each little block of my portrait. Um, and some of them are bleeding into the other colors, which I kind of like. And I'm just using whatever colors I want. It does not have to be realistic. It's just the colors that you enjoy, the colors that you want in your portrait. And then I started adding color to my background. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't a lot of white space left. And that's my finished portrait.